So, hi everyone. Welcome to Surakarta. How are you today? I hope everyone is good and ready to enjoy exploring this beautiful area of Surakarta. My name is Arya Dwiatmaja and this is my friend. Hello, my name is Savana Virasya Noor and we will be your tour guide for today's trip. But before we start it, I would like to give you the map of the city. So our first destination today is Benteng Festival. Wow, I'm so excited. Is it near from here? Yeah, how long it takes to get there? As you can see on the map, it's very close, right across from the hotel. Maybe it only takes five minutes. Uh, I wonder how Pendang Festenburg can be made in use. Pendang Festenburg was built during the reign of Governor General Baron van Imhoff in 1745. In the early stage of construction in 1745, the fort was named Pentang Grum, Grum Dig Head, which means generosity. Then the second stage of construction was carried out of after the Gianti Agreement in 1756 and complete in 1775. Then the fort was inaugurated in 1779. It was named Festenburg, which means firm. During the colonial era, the place was known as the Dutch military headquarters in the city of Solo. After Indonesia's independence, the Indonesian National Armed Forces used, used it as a base. Then Sirka. 1970 to 1980s. The fort became the headquarter of Trisakti Palataya Kostrad for the Surakarta residency and surrounding areas. Is the fort still the headquarters of Trisakti Baladaya Kostrad until now? After 1918, the condition of Penteng Festenburg was not maintained and was in poor condition. Finally, in 2010, Penteng Festenburg was confirmed as a cultural heritage site. Currently, Penteng Festenburg has also become an icon of Solo City, a series of interesting and cultural dome events are also often held at Penteng Festenburg. Okay, where are we going next? Next, we are going to Kraton Surakarta. Um, can you tell me about the Surakarta Kraton that long the way to get there? Sure. So, Kraton Surakarta is the palace of the Surakarta Hadingrat Sunanit. The palace was built in 1744 by Sunan Pakubuwono II as a replacement for the Kartasura Palace which was destroyed by the Chinatown Geiger in 1743. But now, the Surakarta Hadiningrat Kraton of Surakarta Cultural Conservation Area is indeed open to the public. However, there are some areas that should not be visited, such as the residence of King Pakubuono. But you can still visit the museum in the palace area anyway. Oh, so what's inside the museum? So inside the museum, you can see various real collections, such as carriers, stretchers, statues, ancient weapons, and many other historical collections. Wow, it sounds so awesome. Please take me there as soon as possible. Wow, you are very excited, and you will be even more excited when you get there. Mm, by the way guys, can we stop at the ATM first? I'm out of cash. Where can we find an ATM near here? Um, 
from what I see on the map, at the roundabout turn right to Samkira D Road and it's on the left of the road. Hmm. Maybe you can try ask that man the way to get there. Okay. Uh, excuse me, is that ATM Benny on straight to the left? Can we go there after this? Oh sure, we can. Okay, thank you so much. No problem. Thank you so much. No problem. Can we go now? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Do you know where the Clara traditional market is? Uh, Clara, uh, I think I've heard before. Oh, it's Batik Shop, isn't it? Yes, that's right. I want to buy Batik there. Okay, we can go there after this. Clever Market is just next to the Kraton. Wow, you guys buying so many Batik. Huh, I bought it for souvenir. Yeah, um, we can find it in our country, yes. I'm tired of going around for shopping. Now I'm getting hungry. So, how about lunch? What do you have in mind? Hmm, maybe I miss Russian food? How about fast food? Oh, Mac McDonald's! I think that's a good idea. Is that far from here? It's near. Just go straight from Rajiman Street until Gadot Subroto Street and then turn right. And then turn right again after the traffic light to Slamet Yadi Street. You can find the McDonald's on the left of the road. Okay, let's go. I'm so hungry. What is that building across the street? Was it the electronic temple that had the fire? Oh, I've heard about it. Yes, you were right. In 2020, there was a big fire at the Chandi electronic store. The shop was burned down, including all the good inside. Wow, that caused the fire. It is suspected that the fire was caused by an electrical short circuit. How much is the total loss? Um, I didn't know how much the total loss was, but it's probably billions. But now the building has become good. So now Chandi Electronic is one of the largest and the best electronic product companies in the city of Surakarta. Chandi got an award as best electronic store in the world. We have finished eating. Now, where are we going? <laughs> I'm so tired. How about we go back to the hotel? Sounds good. Okay, let's go back to the hotel. Uh, hello everyone, we are group 5. We would like to welcome you all to our virtual tour to Yogyakarta. As you see on the map, we're going to have a virtual visit to some interesting places in Yogyakarta. I hope you all enjoy it. Hello, my name is Janet. And I'm Kai. We are your virtual tour guide for today. Hello, Janet. Hello, Kai. My name is Evie. My name is Fier. And I'm Wong Hi, nice to meet you. Thank you. It's nice to meet you as well. Nice to meet you too. It's a pleasure to meet you. By the way, when did you arrive in Yogyakarta? We arrived at 10.30 p.m. 
How long did it take to come here? I think it's about six hours. Oh, I hope you all have a good sleep last night after having a long flight. Sure, we slept really well last night. All right, everyone. Welcome to Yogyakarta. Now we're going to have a virtual tour to visit some interesting place here. Are you ready? Uh, yes, we are yeah, ready. We are ready. Okay, let's get start. Okay, so our first destination is Taman Pelangi. Have you ever heard about Taman Pelangi? Mm, honestly, I haven't heard about it yet. Can you tell me about the place, please? Sure. Taman Pelangi, Yogyakarta is a night tourist spot that displays colorful lantern light so it looks like a rainbow. This tourist park is located on Pajajaran Street or formerly known as Ring Road Utara Street. Taman Pelangi has more than 20 types of games, 25 food and drink stands. This rainbow garden can be enjoyed from evening to tonight from 5 to 11 p.m. Your child evening will feel complete and perfect at Taman Pelangi with lots of lit lantern that give an interesting impression to calm your mind. Thank you for the explanation. It's such a great place to visit. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Are you ready to visit the second place? Uh, sure, let's move on. Okay, this second place is called the Ulen Sentalu Museum. Wow, interesting. Is this a good place for healing? Yes, it is. You can learn and heal here. Oh yeah, I see. Can you tell me what the inside the museum is? Yeah, sure. Ulan Sentalu also display figure of kings and their consort with various kinds of clothes worn, worn both for formal events and for if everyday life. The, the name Ulan Sentalu is an acronym from the Japanese language Ulating Blenchong Senjatine Tataring Lumaku which mean like Blenchong Lamb as a guide for making in stepping and living life. This philosophy is taken from an oil lamb used in wayang kulit performance or blanchong which is a light that is always moving to direct and illuminate the journey of, of our life wow what a nice place thank you for the explanation i can learn a lot about it after this what is the next destination next we're going to tugu jogja is it far from our current location? No, it is close from here. Oh yeah? Where is it? Um, we will turn left at that crossroad and then turn right at the next crossroad. Oh, okay. This is a pretty close. Okay, let's go. What kind of place is it? Tugu Jogja is a monument that is often used as a symbol or emblem of the city of Yogyakarta. This monument has a symbolic value which is a magical line that connects Parangkritis Beach, Panggung, Panggung Krapyak, Yogyakarta Place, and Mount Merapi. This monument is now one of Yogyakarta tourism object and is 
often known as Tugu Pal Putih or Pal also means monument because the pen color used has always been white. This Pal monument is elliptical in shape with a small ball and a pointed tip at the top when it's viewed from the Yogyakarta place to the north you will see Malioboro Street, Margo Utomo Street, Tugu Jogja, and AM Sangaji Street. From a straight line the top of Mount Merapi, now as the Yogyakarta imaginary line. Oh, it's beautiful. By the way, where are we going next? There are two choices for you. One, at the first one, there is Taman Sari. It's a good place to take some pictures. And the second choice, uh, there is Malibolo Street. It's a good place for shopping or sightseeing. Mm, Taman Sari sounds interesting. I prefer to go there first. Okay, let's go. This is a Taman Sari. Taman Sari. Taman Sari Yogyakarta or Taman Sari Kraton Yogyakarta was built during the time of Sultan Hamengkubuwono I in 1758 until 1765. Initially, the garden which was nicknamed the Fragrant Garden has an area of more than 10 hectares with around 57 buildings in the form of buildings, bathing pools, suspension bridges, water canals and artificial lakes along with artificial island and underwater passage. The garden which was used effect effectively between 1765 until 1812 originally stretched from the southwest of the Kedaton area to the southeast of the Magangan area. But at this time, the only remnants of the Taman Sari that can be seen are those in southwest of the Kedaton area. Like I said, it's a good place to take some pictures, right? Would you like to take some pictures? Uh, yes, please. Okay, smile. One, two, three. Uh, one more, please. You ready? Okay, I will start right now. One, two, three. Thank you. Wow. Um, after this, are we going to Malioboro? Yes, we are going there. Hey, I'm excited to show prepare. Uh, okay, let's go. Okay, so this is Malioboro. What do you think? Um, it's amazing. The goods they sell here are cheap, but good quality. I'm glad to hear that. Um, are we going to visit the Kraton today? I really want to go there. Sure, that was our last destination. Today, let's go there. Okay. I have heard the philosophy of Kraton, which is located at the midpoint, describes human life that has matured, and the end of the Paraning Dumadi philosophy, namely eternal life in the afterlife after death, is symbolized by the Kiai Wiji Lamb in Gedong Prabayeksa, which has never been extinguished since Sultan Amangku Buwana first. Yeah, you are right. How do you know about that? I have read about it. Cool. So actually in Jogja, there are several beaches. One, which, one of which is Parangtritis Beach, which is located in Parangtritis Village, Kreta Bantur Regency, Yogyakarta Special Region. The distance is approximately 27 km from the center of Yogyakarta city. This beach is one of the tourist destinations in Yogyakarta. 
even Parangtiptis Beach has become a tourism in tourism icon in Yogyakarta. Then there is also a mangrove forest, South Square, North Square, and many more. Maybe we can visit there another time. Hmm. Excuse me. Can I ask you something? Sure, with my pleasure. Uh, what people usually usually do when they when visiting Kraton? Tourists usually see art performance, watch traditional ceremonies, and chat with courtiers. Abdi Dalam is a person who devotes himself to the pal- palace and the king with all the existing roles. Oh, oh, sounds interesting. Thank you for the explanation. Then, what about the construction history of the Kraton? Mm, I mean, in the past. Um, okay, before the Kraton was built, Sultan Hamengkubuwono I occupied the Amber Ketawang residence in the Gamping area, which is also being worked on. From the from this place, he always supervised and managed the construction of the palace, which was being worked on. A year later, Sultan Hamengkubuwono I entered the new palace for the inauguration. Thus, the city of Yogyakarta was established or with its full name, Ngayogyakarta Hadiningrat Stage. The Amber Ketawang Pasenggrahan was left by Sultan Hamengkubuwono to move to settle in the new Kraton. Oh, that's amazing history. Thank you for the explanation. Sure. Okay, until here first our journey today to get to know some place in Jogja. Hopefully today can be a memorable experience for your for you and see you on your next vacation in Jogja. Please get home safely. See you. See you. See you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Hello friends, in this opportunity, we will present our final test group project about the interesting places in Yogyakarta. We are from group 10, Communication Science 2021, Class A. Our group members are me, myself, Erina Maharani Khoirunisa, Tiffany Ayuning Tias, Virginia Putri Sarungalo, Wahyu Rizal Hanafi, and Zanuba Elza Nur Afifa. So, this is the dialogue we made between tourist and tour guide, which is talking about the interesting places in Yogyakarta. To Virginia, time is yours to start the dialogue. Hi everyone, since we are here to visit some interesting place in Jogja, why don't we introduce ourselves to get to know each other. I'll go first, my name is Virginia Putri Sarongalo, I'm from Papua, and how about you guys? Hello everyone, my name is Elza, and I came from Yogyakarta. Hello, my name is Tiffany, and I'm from Kebumen in Central Java. Hi everybody, you are here to visit many interesting places in Jogja, right? My partner and I will be your tour guide today. Let me introduce myself. My name is Erina. And I am Wahyu. By the way, if you all visit any place that will be visit be used today? Mm, I think that we will go to Malibolo first, right? Why do you think we'll go there? Because I think Malibolo is one of the most place that tourists often visit. Yep, that's right. For your information, we will lead you not only to Malioboro, but also to the Tugu Monument, Fredeburg Fortress, and Taman Sari. Now, let's go to Malioboro first. Oh, interesting. I'm getting excited now. Uh, can you show us the direction to Malioboro, please? At this time, we are still in Claringan Street. You'll see a train station on your right. Then you can just turn left from there. Ah, so this is Malioboro? Yes, this is Malioboro. In Sanskrit, the word Malioboro means a bouquet of flowers. The word Malioboro also comes from the name of a British colonial name. Malioboro was there in 1811 to 1816. The establishment of Jalan Malioboro continued 
with the establishment of the Jakarta Palace. In daily, Maliboro Street was laid out an imaginary axis between sea, South Beach, Parangkosong Beach, Karatan Yogyakarta, Mon Merapi. Maliboro began to be corrupt in the colonial era in when the Dutch government built the friend book from in at the southern end of this road, Maliboro Street also played an important role in the struggle for Indonesian independence. Usually people like shopping at Maliboro. Besides that, there is also a monument called Tugu near here. What is Tugu Monument? Tugu Yogyakarta was built by Sri Sultan Hamengkubuwono I in 1755. At first, the pillars were gilic shaped or cylindrical, and the peak was column shaped or round, so that at the time this monument was called Tugu Golong Gilik. The monument means Manunggaling Kawulo Gusti, which describes the relationship between man and the creator. In 1867, a great earthquake shook the city and the monument collapsed. And then in 1889, this monument began to be fixed. The monument was built in a slightly different form than before. Since then, this monument was called by the name of the Witpal or Tugu Putih, which means white monument. That's the history. Wow, this is first time I know about the history of monument Tugu Jogja. Anyway, can you lead us to go there? Sure, we just need to walk straight ahead a few meters and we will arrive at the Tugu Monument. Ah, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we will also visit Fredeburg Fortress. Let's go there. Which way should we take? All right, but to get to the Fredeburg Fortress, we have to walk back back towards Malioboro. Before we, get, before we get to Malioboro, turn right. After we turn right a few more meters ahead, Turn left. Then we arrive at our destination, Fredberg Fortress. Oh, right. This place must be a historical place. Uh, please tell us the history of the Fredberg Fortress. Okay, sure. Fredberg Fortress was first built in 1760 on orders from Sri Sultan Hamengkubuwono I and Nicholas Harting, governor director of the north coast of Java. The initial purpose of this fortress was to maintain the security of the palace when in fact it was to facilitate the supervision of the Dutch on all activities of the Yogyakarta Palace. At first, the construction was simple. In the next period, the Dutch governor named W.H. Van Ozenberg proposed that this fortress be built more permanently. After the construction, the fortress was given the name Rustenburg, which means resting castle. In 1867, there was a great earthquake in Yogyakarta and caused many buildings to collapse, including Rustenburg. Then, soon after, the Rustenburg Fortress was rebuilt, which was later renamed Fredeburg, which means Peace Castle. This is a symbolic manifestation of peace between the Dutch and the palace. Wow, the history is so interesting. Everyone, let's go back to General Sutherman Street. Why? What place are we going to visit this time? We are at General Sudirman Street now. So, where, where are we going next? There is the Mansari over there. We just have to walk straight in General Sudirman or right until we meet the intersection, the turn left, and our destination is on the right at the Mansari. Oh, wow, this park is so beautiful. I really like it. Yes, of course, it's so relaxing and fresh. By the way, can you tell us about this place? Taman Sari Yogyakarta is the set of a former garden of palace garden of the Yogyakarta Hadidiva Palace. This garden was built during the time of Sultan Hamengkubuwono I, 1750 act to 1765. Initially, the garden, which was nicknamed the Far Red Garden, has an area of more than 10 hectares, with around five seven buildings in the front of buildings, meeting school suspension bridge, water canal, and artificial lakes, along with artificial lands, island, and underwater passage. Some um, complex is divided into Four parts. The first part is in an artificial slide. The next part is the building located 
in the Umbul Pinangun Bats, Ledoksari Market and Girijati Pond, the last session in the eastern part of the first and second section and as then as the south of the Maganana complex. Many people come to Taman Sari for refreshing. Well, very interesting. Eh, what is that? There, there, over there. Um, I think it's souvenir center, right? Where people usually can buy something from the Gigarda. Correct. There is a souvenir center near from this Taman side. You can buy many things there and take the bag with you to home. I can wait to go shopping then, everyone. Prepare your money and let's go there. Yes, yes let's, let's go. go. Happy shopping, you all. All, all right, everyone. Thank you for your trust in use for your trip today. I hope today's trip has been very fun for all you, and we hope we can meet again another time. Thank you too. I hope your day has been fun too, and we get to see each other again next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank see you, you next so time. Much. Finally, we arrived at Soekarno Hatta Airport after a long flight. By the way, this airport looks beautiful. Yes, this airport looks so clean too. But roughly, I think we must go to a money changer. Oh, I think we must find our tour guide first. After that, we can go to a money changer change our money. Hi, I am Mr. Giva and Mr. Roughly. I'm Fauzan. Yo, so guys, how are you? Oh, hi, Mr. Fauzan. Yes, you're right. I'm good and excited to go around this city. Nice to meet you. 
nice to meet you too, Mr. Diva. Oh yeah, they are my friends. Her name is Nabila and his name is Afis. Nabila, Afis, this is Mr. Rafli and Mr. Diva. Hi, Mr. Rafli and Mr. Diva. I'm Afis. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mr. Rafi and Mr. Dipa, I'm Nabila Fauzan Fans. I hope you have a great vacation in this city. How was your flight? Is it great? Yeah, the flight is was great, but I didn't I did not enjoy it because I feel check like I feel so sleepy right now, right now, but that's okay. Oh yeah, I think we should change off money first. Do you know where the money changer is? Yeah, suppose I know. Hmm, the white. As a sitting the airport, turn white, then go strike about eight minutes, then turn left. After that, at the T junction, turn left, go down to Angel Street, and on the left side we can see the money changer. You can change your money there. Let's go. Hi Rafli and Diva, in front of the money changes there are a lot of boots for buying a new SIM card. If you need mobile packet data or new number for this area, you can buy it there. Alright Afriis, well I think we need some rest after a long flight. We have been booked at a hotel from this, the application. Can you accompany us to the hotel? Of course, what is the name of the hotel? It is Rolcom Hotel, Miss Nabila. Oh, I know it. The hotel only takes 10 minutes by bus from the airport. From here, we can go straight in this way and we'll see a bus station across the street and we can take a bus from there. Finally, we have arrived at the hotel. You can take your time to get some rest now. Okay. Hey, guys. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow must be fun. We will go around to see many interesting places. Oh my god, I can't wait. Yeah, see you tomorrow, guys. Thank you for today. Good morning, Mr. Diva and Mr. Rafi. How are you today? Are you ready for today's vacation? Yes, I'm well and I hope you are all doing well, guys. Yes, of course, we are ready for today. So, our first destination is the art museum, right? Can you take us to the art museum? Of course, mister. We will go to the art museum, the direction of the Tulip Street to the west go straight for about five minutes after that you see the junction you can turn to the right and go straight on lavender street and after we see the second junction we can turn right and we will see the art museum on the left side mr diva we have arrived at the art of museum people usually visit this museum at the end of the month because there are a lot of unique and aesthetic artworks. Wow, so interesting. I think all, all of this art is so meaningful. The museum, I feel tired and I am hungry. I want to eat some local food. Do you have any recommendation? Yes, of course. I have a restaurant recommendation for you guys, namely Fisip Restaurant. The common dishes at that restaurant are mixed vegetable salad with peanut sauce and local blue grape milkshake. I guess you will like it. Wow, it sounds tasty. What do you get there? 
just go straight to the west and there you see the T junction we can turn left and go down to Lavender Street and we will find T junction again and turn left at Omawa Street we will see the restaurant on the left side beside the Samar store Wow, it turned out that the restaurant is close to the smart store. We can all shop there. Of course, sir. Before it became a smart store, it was an empty lot and was built by an investor in the smart store. Yes, Alfred. Right. If you guys are interested in local stuff, you can buy it there. And they only sell good quality stuff with a low price. Lucky today is 12.12. .12. They held a big sale so you can shop there. Wow, thank you so much. After we visit the gift shop, we will go to the next town. Thank you for the quit, guys. See you next time. Yes, thank you so much, Mr. Pauzan, Mr. Afris, and Mrs. Nabila. With my pleasure, guys. <laughs> Enjoy your next vacation. Bye! Hi guys, we are from Group 7, Class A, majoring in Communication Science, and we will show you our work on English Final. Before that, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Momon, and this is my friends. Hola, I'm Amy. Hi, I'm Natalie. I'm Naufal. And I am Pandu. Well, thank you guys, now let's get started. Such an incredible city. I'm glad we arrived on time. I can't wait for their theater performance on Saturday. Let's go check the venue. Wait, 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 calm down. Let's just ask to the tour guide. Natalia, can you? Okay, I'll ask the tour guide. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Gotham City. What can I help you? Hello, good afternoon. Can you bring us to the theater performance venue? Yes, of course. I assume this is the first time you went here. Yes, this is our first time. Would you mind to guide us in the city first? Sure, no problem. I would love to. Thank you. By the way, I have introduced ourselves. I am Natalie. He is Naval. And she is Momon. Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you too, Natalie. My name is Pandu. And her name is Amy. We will guide you in the city. Let's get going then. The first building is on your left. Welcome to the first building of this city. What is this building? This building is the farmhouse. This is where our farmers farm. What type of food did the farmers harvest? There are so many different types of vegetables and fruits that the farmers harvest. Such as tomatoes, chili, corn, wheat, rice, and so much more. That's amazing. What type of animal did, did farmers farm here? There's a lot actually. There's a chicken, pigs, cows, duck, sheep, goats, and turkey. Whoa, that's a lot. I know, right? There is so much. Shall we continue to the next building? Let's go. Okay, the next building is right behind the farmhouse. If we move further backward from the farmhouse, then we'll found our next building. The next building is the Gotham Senior High School and the Gotham Junior High School. Wow, this is such a big school. I know, right? Are the Junior High School and Senior High School have any connection? Well, the schools are private schools that are owned by the same person, which is Bruce Wayne. But they have separate buildings from each other. Majority of the students from the Gotham Junior High School go to Gotham Senior High School to continue their next education. Ah, I see. Shall we go to our next location? Sure. Our next location is located right across the street. Is it a park? Yes, it is a Gotham City Park. Many of the citizens will jog here, walk their dog, and do their outdoor activities in this park. Ah, I see. 
So we continue to the next building. Sure, the next place is the theater venue, which is located right above the Gotham Junior High School. From the park, you would just need to cross the road and move upward from the Gotham Junior High School. Oh, okay. Can you tell me about the theater venue? Sure, the theater venue is made by the Wayne Corporation, and usually there is a performance from the Gotham Theater Extracurricular School every Sunday in this theater. The performance is held next Saturday, right? That's really cool. I can't wait to watch the performance this Saturday. Shall we go to the next destination? Sure. The next destination is Raritan River. It's located just across from the road. Ah, I see it. What do civilians here do in the Raritan River? The civilian here usually do kayaking, fishing, and swim in the Gotham River. That's cool. By the way, I'm starving. Do you know where we can go to grab some food to fill our stomachs? Sure, we can grab some food in the subway, which is located right across two streets from here. We just need to cross the two streets from here. Okay, finally here. I got a little bit confused here. Why do we buy our food from the train station? The train station here sells a lot of food such as subway sandwich, chipotle, ice cream, and so much more. Also, right to the train station is a hotel which you guys will be staying while visiting here. Oh, nice. It's, this is awesome. Now that we have eaten, where should we go? Let's go and visit our friend who is being treated in the hospital here. Can you lead the way, Emmy? Sure, the hospital is right across the street from here. All we have to do is just cross the main city street and we will see the hospital. I realized something. It seems that the places here are divided by some sort of district. Hmm, yes, I realized it too. There's a particular reason why it is divided into district. It's is to organize the city. Ah, I see. What building are there in this district? There are hospital, a factory, a town hall, uh, and a multi-purpose building. This district is the center of the city, and that's why the town hall and the hospital is located here. That's great. I don't know about you, but I really need some coffee right now. Do you know any coffee shop here? I do know. Actually, from this hospital, we are going just need to go to the main city, street, uh, street road, then go to the crossroad, and then we turn left. After we turn left, we can go straight, follow the path of the road, and we see the coffee shop on your right. Can you tell me what facilities are there in this district? In this district, there are a coffee shop, a gas station, a baseball field for the students from the school to play in, and there is an apartment where most of the civilians live. It was, it was used to be a hotel, but then it was renovated and changed into an, an apartment. That's cool. How about the district from across the road here? Can you tell us what facilities are there in that district? In that district, there's a mall, a shopping center, a restaurant, a football stadium, and a golf course. Majority of the civilian will buy their needs and wants to shopping center here. Uh, and there, a football stadium for the student from the school to play football. This place is amazing. There are a lot of facilities here. I'm glad that you enjoy your time here. I think that's all we can tell you about this city. Okay, thank you, Amy and Pandu, for guiding us in the city. It was very helpful. I hope I meet you guys soon. It's my pleasure, now, Paul, Momon, and Natalia. See you soon, guys. Goodbye. Bye. I hope I'll see you soon, too. Soon.